He said that blacks were bred to be superior athletes. The, owner, the slave owner would, 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 would breed his big black to his big woman so that he could have a, a, big, a, big, a big black kid. Snyder went on saying there's not <laughs> much on. room left for, quote, the one And he guy. went on. Yeah, I, I like that she goes, Snyder, Snyder went on in spite of really should have <laughs> known better. He should have <laughs> known better. Yo, 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 what up, Square Pin Brigade? On this episode, we have comedian Richie Redding, and he's here to discuss should you step in to break up a fight with a woman? Uh, we got the brick lady on. Uh, we we cover that. What is the obligation of a man in protecting others and understanding what your value is? Pretty dope. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, sign up for the Patreon. That really helps us watch the videos in their entirety as well. And yeah. if you need consultations, notsaynever.com, click on consult. You can get me and uh, can advice hit, from can, Harry. Yeah, you can at gmail.com. Advice from Harry at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us over at Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, like this week, we uh, have Richie Redding on. We continue our conversation where we talk about uh, how women take advantage, uh, how women develop bad habits and behavior, and how and terrible funny Patrice Brittany story. Reiner. Oh, that's right. It, it, and a very and funny, a funny Patrice, Patrice O'Neill uh, yeah. story. A great Patrice O'Neill story. That's over at patreon.com slash manschool202. And we load the classic episodes of the show starting from episode one. So that's where it's all at. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, 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 what up? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Uh, this is a special show, but first and foremost, let me say what's up to my partner in crime. What up, Harry? What's going on, B? Oh, man. me I'm living a great life, Dante. People wish they could have dreams about the stuff I'm doing. That's how it's, that's crazy. how intense it's going. It's crazy. It's crazy. It would, and if they did, wake up and let me smack you because you're that's lying. Right. That's- <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is absolutely a, a special show because we got a special guest. Now, I might have said that 600 times before, but this time I mean it. We got a special guest in the building, a good friend of the show, a friend of mine, very funny dude. Give it up for Richie Redding, y'all. Give it up for Richie Redding. Thank you. What's up, man? I feel special. Thanks you are. For you me. are. You are. You still growing the mullet or no? Oh, you got feathered, brother. You got feathered. <laughs> this is a this is a very long commitment, man. I've seen people do mm-hmm. like a phase. This is going on how long now, Rich, with the mullet? With the mullet? Uh, we're good two years into it, two and a half, I think. Yeah, yeah, so you did I'm a pandemic and then kept going. Yeah. Well, I had like a mall hawk during the pandy. That yeah, I, I remember that. I remember it, that. It was tight in the sides with a fight, some bullshit <laughs> up top and, and then the mall <laughs> in the back. But I like it this way because I can kind of pass as looking businessy. You know, like yeah. I can... I can tuck it back. If, I, if I'm on an important call, I got to keep like just completely squared up to the camera. Mr. And then Joe turn, Dirt. Like, is that- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Joe Dirt. <laughs> it's good to see you, bro. How's everything, man? How's what's been going on with you? What's been going on with you? It's good, man. I've been uh, been having fun, dude. I've uh, been doing a ton of shows, but I, I, uh, I, I took off a couple weeks and went down to Tennessee, did a bunch of white people shit. Nice. And, uh, yeah, it, you no, did some canoodling. It. You did. Yeah, I caught a catch, catfish, catfish with, with my with... fist. <laughs> I think it's noodling. Canoodling implies, I think, making out. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's is a, the one where you. That's what with, I do. I catch the catfish fish and then and then fuck it. And then, so, oh, <laughs> dude, the 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 level of broke dictedness to 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 resort to catching a catfish with your fist. It yeah. is wild, dude. I feel like I feel like you. They could break your arm, dude. Them fish, some of them are fucking 25, 30 pounds, and they and they, you know, like you you can see the, the guy arm whipping around with his hand, and you know, I feel like you could break yeah. your wrist or something. Well, and also if you push, the, I think you can get hurt if you push out and pull back too quick. Oh, really? Because you're literally feeding it your hand. Oh, okay. All right, so you gotta let it like fucking swallow it down oh, and shit. Yeah, I'm good. So you're all the way in. I am good yeah, with that fun. though. I am good sitting patient while somebody swallows my member. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can sit back, huh? 
I look you right now <laughs> as it's tears. Out here noodling <laughs> bitches. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, bro. Good to see you. You've been watching any football? You've been watching prime time? I've not caught any of it yet. No. It's fucking fantastic. <laughs> It's fucking fantastic. I know the birds won last night. Yeah, yeah, they they're killing it. They're killing it, and uh, a lot of old white dudes are very upset, panicking, because what happens if Warren Sapp and Jerry Rice decide to coach college ball? Uh, we just like uh, Jimmy the Greek. You remember when Jimmy the Greek was like? Uh, you remember Jimmy the Greek? I don't. I know the. I know the controversy. I never actually saw. Right, him. but you know the controversy where he he he's at dinner. This is. I don't know. How I mean, this is in the late eighties. Jimmy the Greek was. This was back <laughs> in football. It was a strange time in football. Jimmy the Greek would talk about odds when you're not supposed to gamble, right? right. And he was like this old. He just looked like a bookie, and they just put him on TV, and every week he'd be like, "Ah, you gotta watch out for these giants," right? That here's, type of thing. Here's the, here's what I would say too. Probably the first guy to get canceled. Yeah. Probably one of the fir- the, the OGs of getting canceled. Mm. So he goes, uh, he goes, that he's at a dinner. He's got a few scotches in him, you know, brown, <laughs> brown liquid in a rock glass. He's having a steak because that's what men do. Hey, sweetheart, keep that and smile more. You're much prettier when you smile like that old school. <laughs> Pat. <laughs> He's definitely padded a waitress on the ass. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And, uh, and he goes there, you know what I'm saying? You know, the he goes, the slave owners, they they uh they made it the big black, the big black bucks with the big well, I don't know black. why they got on the topic of why black people in sports are more dumb. I think it was about black yeah. coaching or whatever. So the first yeah. thing he does, Dante, is he goes, uh well, listen, you, you the black players. I mean that they, you know, they dominate the game. All this left for the white man is coaching and, and right. running the teams. If they if they get into that, they they got nothing left. And right. then somebody asked him why they're so dominant. He goes because the the during slave times, the big black buck, the slave owner would take they the slave big black bred buck them and with breed the big them with black his girl and had with his big black buck, woman buck babies in their fast twitch muscles. For years, uh, just uh, the fast twitch hamstrings go all the way up their back, and they, you just can't, you know. So there's gonna be nothing for white guys. And then I uh, never, I never heard it in that detail. I always <laughs> heard like, just look at their mothers that they, they were bred for it. But uh, he, he, he might have thrown that. In. Can you bring it up, Harry? Let me see can if I make... can find it. Hold on. Oh, it's fantastic. So what happens how, is, how was this uh, much? It like reporting on it in hmm? the eighties. How, like how did how did it get out? Oh, he did it as an interview. Oh, he, I thought he said he was news, at dinner. No, he was at dinner, and a news person or sports person saw him at dinner and stuck a microphone in his face, and he was like, um, "Let me tell you about." Okay, here, here we go. Hold on, <laughs> here it is. Reporter from WRC TV was asking questions about Martin Luther King's birthday Uh-oh. and the progress Uh-oh. blacks have That's made in society. Their CBS sports commentator, Jimmy the Greek Snyder, gave his impressions of blacks and coaching in the National Football League. His answers could raise as much controversy as the statements by former Dodgers executive Al Campanis last April on ABC's Nightline news program. Yeah, I'm pretty soon they're going to have to equalize it for the blacks. For the Greeks, the Jews, and for everybody. I mean, let's make it equal for everybody. You know. And uh, is it equal? What about in sports? Well, they've got everything. If if they take over coaching like everybody wants oh, them to, there's not going to be anything left for the white people. I mean, all the players are black. I mean, yeah. the only thing that the whites control is the coaching jobs. <laughs> now, I'm not being derogatory about it, but that's all that's left for yeah. them. <laughs> the black talent is beautiful. It's great. It's out there. Try to it's say the, the only thing left for the whites is a, a couple coaching jobs. Yeah, maybe we need <laughs> to get more black coaches. <laughs> oh, she'll ride with me. Okay, well, I'm sure that they'll take over that pretty soon, too. WRC was apparently flooded with complaint oh calls. That was now. That's not even. This? That's yeah. lukewarm not, water right now. Listen, not, not wrong. Yeah, <laughs> he, he goes in, in, into the whole thing about the the breeding. I'll find too. that part. Yeah, I'll find yeah, that for part. the eighties. Yeah, for the eighties, he's still in kind of tepid water. Right, he's not cooking yet. 
Yeah, well, he does. He goes into the breeding and he talks about the fast twitch muscles and uh, the fast twitch and the blacks, big black <laughs> buck. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, he doesn't seem to derog- He really doesn't seem derogatory, he, he, but he's not wrong. That's like, kind of the thing. It's he, that's what they did. That's what they on. did. They bred there. I read about a guy. There was this guy, this, this big black buck from uh, slavery time. He had, he had like, they used him as a, as a stud. Yeah. I bought him and they just, they bought him and they would, he would just fuck all day long. Just make babies. Yo, how much did the other slave, how much did the short they slaves were pissed off. resent they were like, this. him? <laughs> this, this, oh man. Uh, I, here's a crazy, I'm reading this book called, uh, medical apartheid it talks about the uh you know like you know we all know about the tuskegee experiment with the syphilis and and the but the medical experimentation has been going on like with black people all the time like since the beginning of time if you just think about it in terms of the fact if you own people you you're gonna and you're and you happen to be a doctor which you would have enough money to buy slaves who are you gonna experiment on but i mean you, you these are these are so that they, they found out that probably 80 percent of the cadavers that went to uh, Harvard, Harvard Medical, Harvard, uh, Yale Medical came from either the buying of, of, you know, dead bodies or the grave robbing of dead bodies and so on and so forth. And and it just I mean, that was so what like he's saying initial is initial body of knowledge that we that we gained probably um not even the initial i mean we're talking about when it when it let, stopped from that what you have extensive medical journals that talk about the experimentation uh, the whole gynecological Jeez. medicine uh by that guy Marion Sims he had a he had built a a slave house clinic in his backyard and he he practiced uh hysterectomies and on on black female slaves with no Jesus. anesthesia and uh wrote his papers up and and they and and then when you're talking about these medical journals like if you read these old medical journals it's all white dudes talking to other medical professionals so the 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 the, the lack of you know it's really clinical but mm. it's just they're they're, lack of they're not whole, it's like yeah. they're talking about lab rats Speaking yeah, of which, here, not, I found they're uh, not holding back at I, all. And I think so, I found it. Hold on, this is the clip. They left this out of the other story, which is oh, fascinating yeah. to me because this may be worse than the this other. Is part. The, this is the. He said that blacks were bred to be superior athletes. The, owner, the slave owner would 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 breed his big black to his big woman, so that he could have a a big a big, a big black kid. See? And Snyder said that's why blacks excel over whites in sports. The black is a better athlete to begin with because he's been bred to be that mm. way because of his high thighs and big thighs that goes up into his back. Snyder went on saying there's not <laughs> much on. room left for, quote, the one guy went on. in sports except for a couple of coaching jobs. His dismissal. Yeah, I, I like this. She goes, Dude. Snyder Snyder went on in spite of really uh, should have <laughs> know better. He should have know better. Somebody was sitting across the table from Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that's no, true. Yeah, I doubt it. I, I I doubt it. I doubt it. They were like, oh, yeah, of course, Jimmy knows. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. Well, I mean, yeah. how do you handle that? I mean, how do you how do you say that in a way that that does that doesn't sound horrible? Like, I mean, genetically, you that, can't. That's which what is why happened. you don't say it. Though. That's right, the thing. Right. There yeah. is no when way to the, say it. He's the definition of an imperfect messenger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it, you made me realize there's two things this sparks for me. I have never met a black guy named Buck. Oh, it's, well, they don't really. Oh, well, I know a Buck, but I mean, they don't. You know they don't black mean buck? it as. They don't. They don't mean it as you know. They mean it. Buck is yeah. kind of like a like that's that would be a, their pronoun, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the they them would be buck, buck. <laughs> but uh, dude, the, but the uh, the bodies thing that you're talking about is that remember the bodies exhibit? Yes, that swept the nation. 
It the found, it, the it, bodies it, exhibit like, for people who who aren't familiar is they would they would have these they got these cadavers or whatever. Wait a minute, here let me we'll, let me we'll give reveal. you a little thing with that. 90 percent of them slaves. Ninety mm. percent of those bodies slaves. Go, but go ahead, Harry. But I mean, got, yeah. I mean, I, however, they got name. them for sure. That's the controversy. They would strip the bodies and just show you the muscle. So they would take those bodies and then like freeze dry them or so. However, they so they would cut off, you know, so you could see the mus the muscles or the, the underneath the muscles, the, skin. the yeah. anatomy, yeah, the anatomy. Or, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, whatever parts. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, but, go on, Rick. Yeah, well, no, I was going to say exactly that. That they, that it it turned out they were all coming from China. From it was a lot. A lot of them were the Uyghurs, and it was these like enemies of the state, but also and you know prisoners and shit like that. But it also turned out that it was just like homeless people sometimes and they never got any kind of consent from the families. And they, oh, they never, they, I mean, that's, you know, that's they, literally been going on poor people, poor people and black people have, they've never gotten consent from any, from any, I mean, they, they just did this stuff for the, for the, you know, for yeah. the, the sake of medicine. That's why they call it a medical, medical practice. They were practice, perfecting yeah. these operations and stuff and prime predominantly in, in this country and abroad black bodies, they were using black bodies as cadavers, but it's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah. as a big black buck, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a buckaroo, <laughs> I, um, it's, I saw something, uh, the other day, and I, and I and I was like, uh, "So did you see the chick who got hit in the face with a brick? Did you see online?" I only saw the aftermath of it. Hold on, I, I'm not see? familiar with this. Where was this? Done? Okay, Where Google this that. Yeah. Bring that up. The woman, woman, woman gets spoiled. hit in face with brick. Yeah, yeah. Original. It's original. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put original. Now here's the problem. She's on the. Uh, Thank you for that. That I did original. You're right. <laughs> I, it, I, a lot. I, I, I just don't want to check out what happened this week. Uh, just shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, the reactions. The reactions is it's just thirty sec, uh, five seconds of them going check this out, and then they just show the clip. No, but a lot of other bitches been bricking themselves. <laughs> been just to is on that back. <laughs> they jumping on the brick bag wagon. Uh, uh, brick challenge. Uh, <laughs> Is this one where she refused to give her number and then got hit in the face with a brick? Yes. Uh, yeah, there okay. you go. All right. Let's, let's give a let's give a look. Hold on. Let me pull it up here. Uh bear with me. We got the TikTok. Follow, by the way, follow uh follow me on TikTok. Follow Dante on TikTok. Follow Man School. Hold on one second. Uh let I mean me you can follow it. me too if you want. Yeah, Richie yeah. Redding as well. Yeah, Richie, how do they find your uh TikTok? <laughs> Everything's just at Richie Redding. All That's right. That's dope. Fucking, you got that early? Shit. All right. There's only so many of us. Yeah. Now, she's not Jamaican Yo, this either. man just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, and break. they don't give a fuck. Yeah. This man, this man hit me, grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my face, because I would have given him my number. And in? all y'all just watch. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man. Do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face? Now, Harry, you see done to anybody? Now, oh, they, 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 they go, okay, this look, let me see. This one? She, has I ever done anything? Did you see her content this? online? I have Smack, not seen smacking her dudes in the face. Oh, is no. that her content? Online? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, ahead. go brick. Brick oh, chicks smacks brick dudes bitch. in the face. <laughs> oh, see, I didn't know this. Hold on, now I'm doing watching this. Uh, uh, so it's it was like when I saw it, you go. In one sense, I'm going. Listen, to one look, I I probably wouldn't let that happen, um, knowing me. But this is also I've seen dudes where they've stepped in. Go ahead. I think okay. So the one down in the bottom, the guy with the glasses. He goes, he goes, he was there. Oh, Check okay. Let's see. I was one of and the then guys the who was there. That <laughs> I was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with the brick. Right? I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. 
Why would you I think he meant taunting. Taunting is good enough. This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. Mm. If you go on social media online, you're going to see some of her antic videos taunting people. Looking for a reaction. Well, she got what she been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she Ooh. was actually speaking for. I don't regret not standing up for her. If you look at some of the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any men have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Mm. Nobody especially deserves with a brick. that. Yeah, I would make that clear. Check the now go back and check me, the one where find, she's yeah. she's doing content. Let me find it. There's a couple smacking bunch of people. videos. Just go brick so, girl, brick lady smacks <laughs> I, <laughs> original. Yeah, I saw somebody posted that uh that they were like the, the nurses at the hospital said that she was actually being treated for an allergic reaction and not for oh i don't for this, but but that guy said he put himself there yeah she yeah. could just be allergic to bricks yeah maybe i mean i brick dust uh, brick dust will swell you up if yeah, you so smash in the face with it. a brick <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole brick behind it the dust will fuck that you brick up. dust I'm, i must be allergic to this brick dust <laughs> <laughs> especially in brick form <laughs> Oh, her face is wildly asymmetrical. That Yo, is, her, that is, that is <laughs> her face is shaped like a avocado, like a no, like a mango. Yeah. <laughs> it's, she, uh, she, she got remember, stewie head. Remember <laughs> lemon half heads? Half a stewie. Remember, half remember, a stewie. Remember, yeah, remember yeah, lemon yeah. heads when we were kids? Remember lemon heads? Holy shit. Now, now he is like, did you get anything out? I'm looking well, here, for this. I'm trying to find thing. a good video. If you said brick lady uh smacking people should come up, come she come right up. What's weird is here's the thing. You know, I like for me as a man, and one of the things this is man school, and we talk about being a man and representing, you know, re representing yourself in the way that you should and always having credibility and, and so on and so forth. But I've seen I have personally mm. jumped into situations where a guy was uh roughing up his girl or smacking his girl around where I stepped in and then the guy uh the guy I'm I'm tussling with the guy and then the girl jumps on my back. So Yeah, that's that's domestic violence 101. In, in cop mm -hmm. situations, they always say that they cuff both of them because the the girl always jumps on the cop. Yeah. Okay, so it's like, on. I got, I got go ahead. You got, uh oh. Let's see. Hold on. One second. No, this is still. Oh, yeah. This might be something. That's her. That looks like yeah, her. Yeah, that's, that's her. Hold that's on. definitely her. Now, I, I don't. I Hold on. Oh, I lost the screen. One second. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't recognize her uh, just because her face is not all fucked up on one side. She don't look like a mango. Oh, I yeah, I gotta yeah. see the other side. She don't look like a side. lemon head. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Slap the white dude across the face, and now she's twerking. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Oh boy. Twerk, twerk, right. twerk. Oh, let's show the twerk again. Let's see the twerk again. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Well, so yeah, okay. Yeah, that's she's uh, doing a lot for the community. She is. Yeah, she's she's a, an angel. She is an uh, angel. But that's yeah, man. That's a, a thing that uh, a double standard that is not okay. Uh, what was the thing uh, that we we saw the other day? Some podcast that this woman who was uh, the ex wife of an NBA player in the middle of a podcast. I guess she's had some problem with a producer and just throws a water bottle at him. Oh yeah, I didn't and, see that. Oh, let me find it. Let me find that. I think, but that's it, here's, here's my thing: is that mm -hmm. you know we know. Look, I, you know that there's always been this cavalier kind of chivalristic. I'm making up words, uh, kind of behavior that we, you know, that that we all. I mean, I, I think we even want to do that, but I think we've been put. Men have been put in a position where you, you know, you. I mean, how many times have we been at the comedy club? And some some awful you awful chick is heckling you, 
And mm. then the minute you check her, right, then the dude wants to he wants to get in it because now you're you're because you're a man, you're a, you're checking his, uh, you know, you're checking his 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 woman where he should have been checking her in the first place. It's like. Why is this okay that this behavior, this level of behavior is accepted? And then you got to deal with it afterwards. And then then he'll fight you. But this is this is bitch ass shit, though, because how often and we talk about this on the show all the time. Guys will lie not to have the argument. They will lie not to have the confrontation with their girl. They'll fight. They'll get into a mortal combat with you. Before they have to check this, because when once their chick is their girl is mad at them, it's endless. It's forever, you know. Yeah. That it, was the the Patrice thing. I, I you know I only saw him on stage live like a handful of times, but more than once he would he, he would tell a dude, "Yo, control your woman." Yeah, <laughs> and, check your bitch. He actually would just say, check your bitch. Yeah, you know, and, I mean, it would put a guy in such a fucking box. Yeah, but I mean, you you you've done. I mean, I've done that on stage where I go. You 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 you're so, un, like you're so uncouth, and you're you know. And then she'll be. It'll be two or three couples, and they'll be like, "Why do you invite her to these shows? Why do you? Why do you? None of y'all like her. Like nobody does that with the confidence that." that women do that in clubs unless they've done it before, unless they've done it and consistently gotten away with it and not, and, and not been checked. I mean, I, I am a, you know, I don't believe in karma. I feel like I am karma. And uh, me, me and Harry was talking about it with some dude who was at the strip and the dude was like, you know, like just talking shit. And he's like, yo, I got, I, we don't, I, we don't know this guy from nowhere, from nowhere. And he's like, well, what, yo, you coming to my show tomorrow? I'm like, I don't even fucking know you. And he's like, I'm like, we don't go to each other's shows. What, what are you talking about? Well, I came to support you. Who am I? I don't know. Well, then you didn't come to support me. I go, I'm not coming. I, I'm, not, I'm not. I don't go see pro other pro comics. I don't pay for comedy. Why not? Why wouldn't you? I go, look, I go. Yeah, I mean, look, and so his boy came out. He was a little drunk. And I'm I'm in this situation where everybody that knows me is going, uh oh, this this because I don't usually like I don't let that fuse burn till the explosion. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna find me holding my ears squatted down. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna set it off first. And I, I I'm you know I'm talking to this dude, and I just said to myself, I'm I said I'm 57 years old. I don't want no more stories. I don't want another another story about how I choked somebody. So I moved to the other table. Sure enough, boom, the dude comes. Yo, let me ask you something. Yo, you really now here's here's the thing. I, I say this all the time. If and I, I called, I was so mad at Harry because I realized why I have so many Hold on. like I, I, I'm um, ahead, I was you, looking for this clip, so you got to recap me on here. I wasn't listening. What? 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 How am I I'm talking about the up? dude I called you up? I, so I'm going. Yeah, home I remember that at the comic strip. Right, I was at the strip, and then I call Harry up, and I go, "Yo, I didn't punch this dude in the face," mm-hmm. and I'm, uh, and I, and I'm, I want to be proud of myself, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really want to well, be weren't. proud. You weren't, yeah, but I wasn't, that. and the reason why I wasn't is because I'm trying to change people's lives, Richie. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if I don't punch this dude in the face, see, if I do punch this dude, but okay, here's a, here's a funny thing. One day I'm, I'm riding my motorcycle. I'm, I'm, I'm with my first wife. I'm going to parent teachers meetings. We go into her, her daughter's parent teachers meeting, right? I'm on my bike and I don't know if I, I you know, I'm, in the course of me knowing you, I've had a few different motorcycles, right? Mm-hmm. This one was kind of like this mad. It was a V max kind of like, Oh yeah, rough, kind of you know like uh, post apocalyptic, and I I liked it like that. It was just like raw, naked power, just like you would you would use like a a no parking sign as the windshield. You know, it was just like rough, right? And the dudes, and you know, at the time everybody had ninjas, and they were for and uh uh 
three dudes are walking across the street. I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm going to parent teachers meeting. The guy goes, yo, how about I, how about I buy your bike off you for $5? And I go, why don't I punch you in the mouth for free? Right. And he goes, what, what, what? As he's going, what, what, what? I am getting off the bike. Right. And I, um, I grabbed the dude, right? I start choking the dude. I'm, I, I trip him. He goes, dang, he's down on the ground, right? And I would, you know, like it was, I, this is around the time I started really feeling my age because they were so fast and wiry, right? And I'm, I'm trying to hold him down, and I'm literally trying to break his arm. Like I got him locked down. I got him between. I'm like, I'm gonna pop this dude's arm, right? He's his friend. Uh, picks up one of those metal garbage cans, the big heavy metal garbage cans, and he kind of tries to hit he me with it. it on your back like Mick Foley it, style. But it's yeah, but it's so heavy. I'm I'm ch- trying to lock this guy's and he's squirming around. I just feel the weight of the, the like right, and I kind of toss it off right. Um, and then trying to Donkey Kong you. Yeah, and I. <laughs> I grab him by the the the, the pants leg. Like I snatch him. So now I'm trying to get him to. I'm just trying to break arms, right? Because and let me say why I'm trying to break arms. Because I'm trying to help them, Richie. I, sure. I want to yeah. because I want them when they have grandchildren. This is going to be a story that was the, the 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 whole change, the whole trajectory of their lives. Because they figured they could just talk shit. And there's no repercussion. And I'm going to be, I just want to be repercussions today. Right? One of the dudes kicks me in the face while I'm trying to pop the other dudes. Right? My nose is bleeding. I, you know, I take my hand, swipe my hand. There's blood streaming across my face. Right? Uh, I still have my helmet on. I still have goggles. Smash. I <laughs> have my leather jacket on. I hear whack. Somebody hit, I snatched that one. I'm trying, like, as you, I don't know if you ever seen, like, you got three blind mice and I'm trying to catch them all, but they're just bouncing around. I'm grabbing them and dropping them at the same time. Somebody hits me across the back. I snatch that guy, pull him down. I get the other guy. It's like I'm just bouncing around and they're wiry and they're fat. So I got the one that t- talks shit. I got him by the wrist and he's trying to, he's pulling, like, get off me. Get off. And then we hear the, the sirens coming. He's like, yo, the cops is coming, sir. What what the the cops are coming? He's like, tries to he uh, I abhor you. Sir, Please. he calls you. I like the sir. Sir. And I go, sir, you punk motherfucker. I'ma break your fucking arm, right? <laughs> and he, he and he he yanks he at the yanks away from me and they run down the block, right? So I'm I just uh I'm I'm so mad. I jump on the bike, I crank it up, crank it up, and boom, I take it off. I go to school, right? Uh I and went to, to a PTA meeting. I went to a PTA meeting, right? Now <laughs> I get there. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> I get there, my wife is there, my daughter's there. I have I don't even know that the blood is dry, you know, like I'm right. I'm I'm blood is dried. I don't even know I didn't even know it was bleeding. I have my goggles on, right? I just I get my leather jacket. I go, listen, uh, I don't think I'm gonna go in. I just I got into it with three dudes on the way here, right? Now my daughter, my stepdaughter at the time, she goes, No, you look great. Let's go, let's go inside and scare the other kids. Cause she used to always tell my father's my father's coming to get you, right? But I, I really wanted to be. I wanted to be the change, Richie. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be the story that they could tell that their life was going down the wrong path. And then some some dude on a some old dude on a motorcycle broke my arm. And from that point on, I learned that maybe sometimes you should shut the fuck up. I think that message still got across. I think so. I think so. I, yeah. I don't think there was two months of healing. <laughs> no. But but well, he definitely was like, let me, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Cause yeah. when he's, when he went to sir, sir, you still coming, you still fight. <laughs> you, you beat him into proper grammar. Like yeah. you, you, yeah. you, 
You hit him so hard, he started using pronouns properly. He was having too many decency. Yeah. He became British. He slapped him British. Good day, sir. <laughs> he slapped so, him British. So, Dante, what is it? What? Let's go back to this, 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 uh, the modern version of this where it did. So, the go new down one was yeah. this guy is talking shit, right? I sit down at the tables, me, Ryan Reese, some younger comic, and, uh, and, uh, and this, and asshole. he goes, he says, well, "Oh, you're not gonna support me? Well, why are you even sitting at my table?" Now I go, "You because I can sit where the fuck I." Now I'm back on the, I'm back, mm. I'm back on the motorcycle again. You know what I mean? I'm like, I sit where the fuck I want to sit. Well, Describe what, what, this guy. About six, three, three thirty, three, three thirty, three thirty, three twenty. Yeah, like muscle or fat. Oh, okay. Um, not not cut up. But a big young kid, you know, brawler. Yeah, big young. You wouldn't. He definitely. Would you describe bounced. him as a young buck, like a big black like, buck. Like a young buck. I know he had the fast twitch that yeah. went up the, the thighs, hamstrings. went all the way up to his back. His back buttocks all the goes all back. the way up to the Seemed back. Like his he mom was a young uh, female buck. They took a big black bred for it. Yeah, he dread lock, bred he had uh, dreads, just like short dreads. Mm. Um, probably from uh, Scandinavia. Something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so no, what happened? Norwegian so this guy, stock. <laughs> the, this guy is uh, being a pain in the ass. He's a little bit a, drunk. He's and a, he does a, lot, a lot drunk. A lot his, drunk. His, now his uncle is. He's My, talking to me. His introduction to the club, by the way. His introduction yeah, to the this book. This is the first, first time he's coming to the club. Yeah. He has a show at the Lizard, whatever. Uh, you know, she was room with some shit. Iguana so bar is, or something. Clearly, he's not a... You know, Richie, there's a... It's, right. You'd be hard-pressed to have a comic that's legitimate and that we wouldn't know him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or at least know his face. So that, I didn't notice... All the time. Yeah, yeah. where somebody's like, yeah, you know this guy is a comic in New York? No, he's not. Yeah, no, he's not. I don't know him. Yeah. I haven't seen him. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work. Um... So the guy, he's yeah, you guys. So his his old head, old head guy comes out who's like his uncle or something, and he goes, um, yeah, you know, I go, yo, yo, I, so I see him, I go, look, you, um, you, you look like you got some sense. He goes, yo, that's my, that's my designated driver. So this kid is drunk, and he's drinking. Yo, I got Casamigos in the car. Blah blah blah. I said, look, first of all, I said, you look like you got sense. I said, first of all, as a comic. The representation of him, he's, he'll just never work here, you know, if this, there's a problem. I go, and second, I said, he's being disrespectful. And he goes, yo, talk to me. Don't talk to him. I go, this is, this is, I go, you get me. I said, he's about to, he's going to catch it. He goes, yo, chill. Let's, yo, man, let's go. He's trying to get him to go, but he's so drunk. He just keeps coming back. So I get up and move. Mm. Which was really, Harry, you ever seen me move? You ever seen me go, I'm going to, sit there. you know what? You're right. I'm going to move. I move to another tape. I don't. No. But I'm trying to be rare, a better yeah. dude. I'm I'll trying. tell you what it was. What it was was the uncle. You had compassion for the yes. uncle. And that's yeah. the only saving grace was the uncle was trying, understood what you said, caught what you were saying, goes, I got you. Let me try I got to. You. Let me. That's I mean, the only thing that kept that dude from stitches and a hospital and a copay, a yeah. hospital copay. Yeah. I'm like, this. I go sit next to another table. He comes over. Yo, let me ask you a question. I go, yo, I don't want to talk to you. Well, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, my God. You. I'm trying, Ringo. I am. I'm trying. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to be righteous, man. I'm trying. <laughs> Because a dude like that just needs to catch it. So, I so don't here's, disagree. Here's my, but I, 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 and here's, you know, I mean, Richie, here's what I would have done. He didn't know me. He know who I was. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hit him with a forearm, bong. I'm a knock him out. I'm a jump in my car. I'm out. I'm not doing my spot. And I just lay low for a while. He'll have to see me on a clip of Blacklist or Power to try and put two into it. And he'll be like, yo, is that the dude? He'll, he'll have to try and figure it out, right? Yeah. By the time he figures it out, it'll be, you know, lesson learned. Boom, boom, boom. So now, I, but I have. <laughs> it would also just be great if, like, there was nobody else there and he had to, like, 
try to like explain who I am from memory. Like he was, <laughs> he had a bone in his ear. He had twelve was, rings on. It's he like that Twilight brain. episode. Uh, Twilight. So there was a man on the wing, and he had a big bone in his ear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was he covered had, in artifacts. Uh, <laughs> he had he had leopard skin cowboy boots and and a chain yeah. wall. And a it's blue like, fur coat. He looked uh, like you a, were clearly, a cookie monster. Sure he did, <laughs> buddy. Clearly sure he hallucinating. Did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thought of this whilst knocked out. <laughs> they draw, woke up they, speaking proper English. And he did what? And he just knocked you out. A guy in a blue, wow. baby blue fox fur coat. He liked it. So With yeah, a forearm the, shiver. I, I'm like, so, but I'm going, I, I, because so, I have had situations where I've come in this and and Harry can attest uh, mm-hmm. testify. I've had situations where you walked away or you didn't let it, it. It came close, but it didn't go down. And by your generosity, you were patient. You're always very patient. You're not looking for anything. But if it finds you, then it that, that you can't control. And it. I'll give you a way out. You, I'll give you an oh, off sure. ramp. I will give several you an off ramp. Several off ramps. And and if you take one of those off ramps, then you don't kiss. But I've also had times where there was no off ramp. And Harry's been around me where people who know me from different eras in my life will say, remember that time? And they'll start telling a story that I don't even remember. Right. I don't even recall not going to do that. I don't recall none of it. Right. And I realized that I don't remember it because for me, it was resolved. You started some Mm. shit. I gave you several off ramps. You got knocked out or you took the off ramp or you got choked. Whatever happened. Right now, I, I, I could just move on with my life with with a clear conscience because I gave you I, I was as, as patient as I could be when I wasn't patient. You caught it and I move on. This thing still is in my head. It's been how many weeks now, Harry? Like three weeks now? Uh, uh, about two two weeks. About two weeks. Still, I think about this dude every August day. August thirtieth, it was. I know every for a fact it was August thirtieth. Yeah. Fucking day, I think about how I wanted to smash this dude in his face, right? And and what I realized is because it's not it's not resolved. Like it's not resolved in my head. And and I know I'm triggered because when I was a kid, I got bullied when I was a kid and I used to like just put up with it. And then I would hold on to it for months on end. I should have did this. I should have. And so I just started doing what I thought I should have done. And then I, it was great therapy because my conscience was clear and I can move on, but I didn't. So I'm on, I'm on my way home. I call Harry. I go, yo, Da, 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 I'm telling the whole story. I didn't. I didn't clean the deuce. And and, and Harry's like, yeah, buddy, you 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 know Harry. Harry's like, yeah, buddy, you you did the right thing. I you mean, did. you could, you did the right. I, I like the idea that on your deathbed, this is going to be like, should have slapped him. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> but also yeah, that you regrets. have this like, yeah, you basically have like an etch and sketch in your brain that can only be. Shaking loose. You gotta shake it. Yes. With perfect. one good slap. <laughs> it's just shake. It's all gone. It was a beautiful time when it happened. Moved on. And I don't and I don't even I don't have to go over it. I, I don't I don't I don't make you know, like you know, a guy will have a story and he'll tell the same story over and over again because it was the highlight of his bravery. I got mm. I, I got maybe 35 of those. Mm. Some of them I don't remember. It's because I've it's I'm clear in myself and I've moved on. Well, and to that point, would a drunk guy remember the lesson or would it just, would, would the lesson be? I he wasn't that drunk. Mm. Okay. And he would have woke up. He would have woke up next day for his show that we were all supposed to go and support. And he had been lumped up. Yeah. And he like, fuck, he'd have been ice in his eye or whatever. He'd have been slurring. All- a couple of busted lips. You know, it's hard to do a comedy show, you know, with a busted lip, with a, a broken jaw and a busted lip. It's hard to go, what's the deal with apples? You know what I mean? What's going with apples? Yeah. Dude, when I first moved come, up here. How come it, women how come women go to the bathroom like this and men go to the, the bathroom like that? Why are people be like this? Yeah. <laughs> women be Yo, he's on, 
He's on stage looking like the brick girl. <laughs> oh, asymmetric way. What did I do? I didn't do nothing. Why yeah, do I do that? Thing? Any girl, any bitch with that voice starts drama. That scratchy yeah. ass, crackhead ass voice. Like yeah. if he's walking around sounding like Tina Turner. Uh-uh. She's starting shit. It's just like, what but, you know, but when you catch the fact, I bet you she will not. I bet you she, but I mean, I hate to say it. I don't want to see nobody get hit, baby. Let me be clear. But I bet you she won't start no shit no more. I imagine bet you if when she imagine if when she was twerking, that guy just came around with the boot to the puss. <laughs> right to the back from the <laughs> back. Back, <laughs> back soccer kick, right? A yeah. Pele kick, a bicycle from the, kick from the from the back, the, right to the just, back. Got her on his foot like fucking Jeff Dunham at the Bellagio. He's oh just, <laughs> just sock puppets <laughs> in her puss with a fucking size. How 10. about the sweet chin music? The sweet chin, sweet music? chin music. Right. I often, I often want to do sweet chin music and play Shawn Michaels. The Shawn Michaels music. super kick. I won't uh, stop yeah. because I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> But Dante, all right. So here's the thing: if you had knocked this guy out, I would be like, "All right, good. He deserved it, without a doubt." Right, right. Uh, now walking away. Also, at some point, what is the what is the boundary of it? You know, because you know that you could knock this guy out and permanently injure him. Is it worth that if he fucking breaks his neck and he's paralyzed? Absolutely. Or if he dies? No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no it. further questions. No further questions, Jerome. <laughs> I've hit a dude well, and then laid him down. You know, I've hit a dude. Like you know when the shot, you know when the shot is money. Like it's just hmm. it's set up. They're on the feet, I've, and then you yeah. I've hit a down. dude, and then caught the back of his neck, and and just lay, you know laid him down, so it hit his head. So yeah, I mean, I've done that. Carry. But I mean, Carry. but the <laughs> man, it just and it still bothers me. But I, but my point here's my point. I'm bringing this up to say, what is the obligation? For you to walk away, especially when you don't have to walk away. And what is your obligation in a situation where women are saying, um, I want equality, but not acting in ways that not responsibility, not not, not taking the responsibility, because no. this is this is the problem It's I've said this a hundred times. And it's, it's a lot of times when I say this to guys. You know, they're in a funky situation in a relationship. I've never heard a woman called a woman of her word. There's certain things that we just don't hold women accountable for. And when you hold them accountable for it, then somehow you're, oh, you acting like a bitch. Because you made promises and now those promises, or you didn't make promises, or I'm saying, or I'm saying, this is, you're not my problem. That your bad behavior is your problem. What do you think is, and this is the discussion I'm, I'm I'm in my head. What is the obligation? What do you think the obligation is? Mm. Or what, or, and maybe, you know, does it, does it make a difference that it's a brick? I mean, does it make you go, maybe it's a brick. I don't want to get involved with this without a the brick. brick maybe should... is definitely <laughs> escalated. It did. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know that he. I wish I was there uh, because I don't know that he started with the brick. Do you open hey, with listen, the brick? Listen, listen. I wish I was there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and also uh, let's yeah, build that time that, machine. So Forget much. about killing Hitler. Let's just <laughs> go back. Suspi- yeah. The thing that's suspicious about the whole thing is that nobody that is, uh, somehow this whole thing escalated to the point where this bitch gets hit with a brick, and nobody was filming it. That is yeah. weird, right? Yeah. Because like it wasn't there's there's no world in which they don't people he don't just walks up and slaps her with a brick. Like and it it escalated. He to must that point, he must have really he must have really went from zero to brick quick. Like <laughs> also, why you why are you hanging out in areas where there's just loose bricks? Where is this? Just, where are you at Saturday night? What club is this? Yeah. What this, yeah. this club yeah. is called the Yard. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody there is a Freemason. <laughs> you think she likes the Commodores? <laughs> yeah, I'll break. 
Dead Eye Ow. Rack. How, did, <laughs> you ever see uh, that 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 character that Bill Hader does, Stefan, when he tells you about the new clubs? It's a great, great new club called The Yard. It's nothing but scattered bricks all over the place. <laughs> it's in an open lot. <laughs> This club has everything. Crazy Jamaican ladies, uh, <laughs> loose bricks, people getting and the stung by Bumblebee. The password to get in is duck. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you, you, you I mean, I, I feel like that that is the case. I mean, if it's your girl, you got, I mean, I, I get it if it's your girl, but even, even, I, here's a crazy, you know what? I'm going to get into this. This is a Patrice story. Let's right. plug this. Plug your stuff, and then we're gonna get into this this other thing. This something that Patrice did back in the days. Fucking great. We're we'll talking about all you at Richie. Uh, everything for me is at Richie Redding. I've got a podcast on. It's on YouTube, Spotify, all that shit. Uh, it's called Really Re- Really Real with Richie Redding, and I uh, I break down conspiracy theories, some news events, and uh, a lot of personal stories. Dope, dope, man. Check them yeah. out. Harry Talk. Uh, you could all you can follow all my social media at Harry Turjanian uh, on YouTube, on TikTok, and uh, also follow us over at Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content. And right now we're going to tell that Patrice story over at Patreon. So, yeah, plus we, uh, we're loading all the old episodes of uh, uh, Beige Phillip and Manschool starting from episode one. They're all available at patreon.com. Yo, check me out. Everything. Uh, Google me, bitch. You know how to get me. Uh, don't forget the <laughs> patreon.com back uh, slash manschool202. Don't forget to follow me on, uh, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the, we are, I'm, I'm putting a lot of new stuff up on Facebook as well. Uh, and uh, man, consultations, Dante.com. Click on consult. Yo, I love y'all, man. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution being podcasters. Check us on the Patreon side. Peace.